Because you don't talk over me. And now you're getting mad because I'm setting boundaries. You're mad that I'm setting boundaries. Okay, and you're mad I'm setting boundaries. A real alpha, and I'm gonna just keep it above 50, a real alpha doesn't give who else. There could be mad alphas in the room. I'm an alpha. It doesn't matter. It it, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't affect me because I'm a leader. We're not in a relationship. You're comparing but regular people what as does it individual matter? alphas You're missing to my relationships. You're literally taking it literally instead of reading in between the lines. If, if you're an alpha and you are comfortable within yourself in being confident, in being confident, why does it matter if you're also with an alpha? Because those... Or someone who's also strong-minded has because contains leader qualities i'm not done contains leader qualities is there something funny yeah, yeah. what's funny i want to hear it what's yeah. funny i see what she's trying to say but at some point in a relationship somebody has to follow and i'm so tired of hearing the word alpha i am so tired of people overusing the word alpha as a man you're supposed to be the leader in the relationship your woman is supposed to follow now if you have a woman that considers herself an alpha you're gonna have pushback you're gonna have her questioning your decisions you don't want somebody questioning your every move you don't want nobody creating doubts in the decision that you're making because i just feel like you haven't had a guest like this before and you're just astonished i don't, I don't know I'm not. I'm not worried. Concerned about you. I never said you were. Are you is that what I said? Are you mad? No. Is that what I said though? You so just what, put words in my I mouth. I just snuck, made a little smirk, and then you mad. I just asked you. Listen, are you talking? Alpha, <laughs> alpha woman. <laughs> what are you, Wonder Woman? Don't alpha woman. I'm not done. You just didn't you say before the cameras came on we but don't I, talk no. over each other? I'm not done though. So please wait. Name me a Beyonce like, and Jay Z outside of the United States. I have a question for you when it comes to when it comes to. I'm not done. Like please. Like I was just saying before I forgot my question. Toxic as there fuck. are men. No, it's just y'all have Fellas, 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 fellas. Y'all could have handled that a little bit differently. This clip does not say the whole thing. It might have been pieces missing from this clip. But it kind of looked bad that she made her point and then y'all boys resorted to name calling. Somebody called a Wonder Woman and somebody started talking about Beyonce and Jay-Z outside of you. I don't know where that was going. But Young lady, if you ever see this video, they cannot be two alphas in a relationship. Okay, at some point, somebody has to yield. Somebody has to follow. It should be the woman following the man. If you consider yourself an alpha, one, it's going to be very hard for you to find a man because you're going to be sizing up every man you come across. And you got to understand, a real man is not going to deal with that. I'm not going to put up with you sizing me up every chance you get. You can be a alpha woman but you can be an alpha woman by yourself yeah so my mom made us some drinks we i made some henny islands and everything like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's try it out mama drink that down no first of all this is what i don't understand but you are your bald head ass sister <laughs> the thing is, if you can see the drink you need to mix it you need to mix it up so you can drink it <laughs> You be up there drinking all that mother Don Julio or, or Casadores or mother <laughs> Yo, first off, why her sister just caught the mean stray? Then secondly, what the hell is Casadores? Does she mean Casamigos? Oh, yo. Mom's been saving that. Mom's been saving that. She been wanting to get that off her chest. And all other sh But as soon as you come home and want to drink with me, you just play this old f Oh. I can't. You I got can't this big old cup. Look at my cup, I, Anaya. My Mama, cup is y'all used to this. Y'all true to this. I'm not true to this. You know, but, oh, you I'm true to this. this. No, you new true to it. No, you true to this with your homegirls. I be seeing the kind that you think you be hiding your mother stories. You don't be hiding. Your sister showed me. You stalking yeah, dropped me? dropped the dime on her ass. She stalking Dro yeah. me? Yeah, I seen on your stories. You big over there, geeked up. Drinking it. Pass me what some more. What is she doing? Let's go get another bottle. This is a fruity f***ing drink. Mama, but drink it down. I can't even stir it. Like, it's a lot. All you have to do. Look, let me show you. Look. That's all you got to do. See how that's mixing? See? See how that's mixing? Oh, I, I didn't ask for this. I know the f***ing mind. You just sit and said, Mama, can you make me a drink like yours? I was talking about lemonade. <laughs> Give me my shit back. This remind me of the first time I had a Bob Marley. I haven't had a Bob Marley in a while, but I believe you're supposed to put the straw all the way at the bottom and drink from the bottom. 
The first time I had it, I drank from the top. The part I drank, bro, it was just straight alcohol, and I, I thought it was disgusting. You know, I'm not big on liquor anymore, but my go-to is a Long Island iced tea. A Long Island will get you where you need to go. You just have to be careful because it sneaks up on you. <laughs> What makes a man sassy? When you try to pop sh like, don't be trying to pop sh in the messages like you my homegirl, because, yeah, I don't even play like that, because, yeah. When he go argue with you for hours and hours and really try to pop sh to hurt your feelings, but f you, bitch, oh my God. Yeah. Somewhere out there, it's a nigga tapping that raw. That's all I'm going to say, because I don't want to go too crazy. But when did we stop calling sassy when did that become a thing oh he's sassy because he's talking back who started this because i ain't gonna lie if you call me sassy to my face i'm gonna feel some type of way because in my mind you insinuating that i'm crossing the street you insinuating that i'm jaywalking i'm, I'm playing in traffic and i don't like that we are ten thousand subscribers away from 100k <laughs> I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Go to Home Depot. It's a man's job. A man belongs here. Man, no, thank you. At least he tried to be nice. Yeah, he looked back at them cheeks. <laughs> He well, looked back in the cheeks. I listened cheeks. to y'all's suggestion, and y'all said men usually are in Home Depot because they're fixers. Every aisle in Home Depot is actually empty, guys. I think the only male that's in here is actually an employee. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't she just walk by a guy? She didn't just walk by some. She walked by two people. Which is next to me. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> no, that was a different guy that walked by her. Now let me get out of here for you. Somebody beeping. That ain't me because I ain't buying nothing. One of the men did it. <laughs> okay, y'all. Home Depot was an epic fail. Not one man trying to fix nothing was in there. It might be the heat, so we're going to let y'all slide today. The employee is actually fixing the door. So y'all got an excuse. Maybe the door broke. You never. And there go one of the vans. Y'all told me I was going to see. I ain't never last seen about three of these vans at Home Depot, y'all. A few of those creepy vans, but actually nobody spoke English in there. So if my husband was in there, there definitely would have been a language barrier. Ladies, if you're trying to find a husband, go to the park. Your husband might be playing a basketball pickup game. Your husband might be out there working out on the uh, the jungle gym. The only time you go to Home Depot and Lowe's is if you're trying to find a sugar daddy. I'm just keeping it 100. Because the dude that tried to talk to her at first... He was old. He was sugar daddy age. My boy looked like he paid bills. He'll pay bills and come fix some sh Nah, I ain't, he ain't gonna do it for free. I believe my brother is a serial killer and will end up killing somebody in the near future if he does not get a mental psychic evaluation as soon as possible. I'm not going through a psychosis. I'm not manic. This is real fucking life, y'all. So, throughout the past couple of years, my brother has been showing signs of a psychopath, and over the last couple of months, it has gotten progressively worse. He's been bringing dead animals home, left and right. I'm talking birds, skunks, geese, geese, whole geese. That's that Jeffrey Dahmer shit. Like, and this morning, me and my mom go, go to the garage to get in the car. And it literally reeks of something dead. Like, there's obviously something dead in that garage. And she knows it because she literally pointed it out before I did. And as we were in the car, I, I told her, I'm literally like, it has to be some kind of way. Because he's, he's grown. But it has to be some kind of way that we can check him into somewhere. Because that is extremely concerning. Not to mention, this man has literally the worst attitude with everybody around him, and the only time he's laughing is to himself, literally. It could be dead silent in the room, and he'll literally just be dying laughing at nothing. And that's the only time 
he shows any happiness. Have you ever been around somebody that you feel as though possess serial killer quality? I've been around a few people like that. When I hear rappers talk about being gangster, and when I hear certain people talk about being gangster, I don't feel as though y'all really understand what y'all saying. It ain't a good feeling to be around somebody that you're cool with, but then you see how they can flip and do the most heinous shit to people. I knew a guy in my neighborhood that, to me, he is borderline, you know. I can't confirm nothing, but I feel as though, yeah. Went away to college, went back. I used to ask about him. He wasn't there no more. They said he joined the military. In my mind, I feel as though that was the perfect balance for him. I don't even know if he's still alive. From what I heard, he joined the military. They sent him to Iraq. So I'm pretty sure he's succeeding. Well, or he was succeeding over there because this was like in 2008, 2009. Yeah. I haven't heard about him since. If you in the hood, man, and you have a bloodlust, go ahead and serve your country. Imagine they didn't notice us in a car. Shit, why y'all making so much noise? Why y'all making so much noise? <laughs> oh my god, somebody phone went off. Uh, babe, I'm not talking to you. I'm watching the video. I know somebody phone just I know somebody phone didn't just go off, bro. It's gotta be fake. Well, yeah, this gotta be fake, bro. The police probably know they was in there or something. Nah, there's no way. But why you running? You stole, bro. Why you doing? Yeah, take off, bro. Take off to go where? Why is he taking off? Take him off. Oh, on the cover. Oh, that car been packing all that for a mini. Yes. On the cover, bro. Yes. Yes. It's all. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it. On the cover, bro. So, pass when I start thinking about how to get Y'all doing all that moving and nobody decided to put their phone on silent. And then what? What got me even more upset? How the cops ain't heard the iPhone going off? Everything, everything don't need to be posted online. Especially if you got away from the police. If you got away from the police in a sticky situation, you shouldn't be posting it online. Don't nobody should know about it except for you and the people who got away with you. You've got such beautiful hair. Thank you. Yeah, what's your name? Nikki. Nikki, I'm Cameron. Cameron. What are you up to? Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was nice to meet you though. Yeah. If that was your girlfriend, how would you feel about that? I feel as though she handled it perfectly. She wasn't rude. But before the conversation went any further, I have a boyfriend. I feel as though that was perfect. How would you feel about that? Would you have wanted your woman to just walk straight by? Not acknowledge him at all? Before you answer that, I want you to realize there are cycles out here. And if a cycle get his feelings hurt, you don't know what he'll do. Good question, good question. We don't want that shit. You stepping on my goddamn toes. Do you realize you just stepped on my foot? No, I long ass toes. I just got them done. I don't give a oh. You just stepped on my shit. Why are you so hostile? Hey, why is she talking like she black? She white. Do you have a problem? Do you have a problem? No, no, no. Hold up. Do you have a problem? Why are you talking like you black? You white. Goodbye. Goodbye. Again, how y'all feel about this? Because clearly she was minding her business. Let's get that out the way. She was minding her business. So he technically instigated that situation. She didn't want to be a part of your video. You proceeded to borderline insult her. Now, I will say, your level of aggression should have toned it down just a little bit. 